So what is food? For us, it was this piece, a uh, uh, cup of coffee. This is actually a, a restaurant in Italy we were at a few years ago. And this piece of flatbread. Arrived, it looked, arrived at our table like that. It literally arrived like that with a couple other pieces. I'm like, oh, it's California and flatbread. So I took a couple <laughs> slivers of uh, raw beet and marked uh, Santa Rosa, roughly where it would be. So that was food for us then. Uh, As you of know, course, the grand heirloom hall. food. It's where we get our inspiration. What is food? Is food cooked food? Cooked food, or is it raw food? For some people, for for us primarily, this is our food. But you know, once in a while, we splurge on the cooked food. But what is food? Is it cooked? Is it raw? Does it? What is it? Our is this food? To some people. These guys are food. To, to me, they're not. When I walked up to the fence, they all came running away, down the hill and like the little bells jingling because I was going to feed them some little daisies. To, so to them, the daisies were food. And to us, they're food producers because we do en enjoy a fine raw goat cheese. From time to time. From time to time. Uh, what is we, food for... <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Um, Kind of our motto, we're vegetarians. Uh, we were vegan for a while, but we've kind of settled into being vegetarians, and we basically don't eat anything with a face, unless unless it's uh, created by uh, Carl the Carver in the uh, Grand Hall over yeah, there. Yeah, definitely check out the Grand ha Food Hall. There's some wonderful carved He's food over a there. He's <laughs> Okay, so is food something you grow in your garden? Is it something you perhaps buy in the store, or is it something you might find wild? We saw this actually on a hike in Yosemite. It's called Miner's Lettuce, and uh, totally, totally edible, edible, ready to go. And you saw some food out here. I did. Uh, there's food all around us. If you go out these doors right here to my left and look out that window, there's dandelion greens. Um, Purslane? Purslane and... Lamb's quarters? Lamb's quarters. Lamb's quarters are <laughs> everywhere. And they have the unique feature of being uh, Roundup can't seem Does to kill lamb's quarters. So we think that that's like that's the plant of the future. Ram you know, lamb's quarters. Like, just let your lamb's quarters grow and say to Monsanto, "You can't kill my lamb's quarters." That's it. <laughs> All right. So what else is food? Is it rotted food? Yes. Fermented any, food. Any, any fermenters? Uh, fermenters. Fans. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Just right now, shout out your favorite fermented food. Cabbage. cabbage. Got another one besides cabbage? Kimchi. What? Hot chilies. Ah, Fermented hot chilies. Sweet. Act totally off, totally miso. off script, miso. but you know, yeah. in our book we actually talk about how all the original condiments that, that we now take for granted, mustards, ketchups, all those things, a hundred years ago they weren't pumped with sugar and vinegar, they were fermented Foods to help digest. To help food digestion. That's why you put ketchup on things. That's why you put mustard on things because the fermented product, tomatoes or mustard seeds, were going to help you digest. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. The other part of food is food for your brain, like you're doing right now today, here at the Heirloom Expo. <laughs> And so, I like uh, personally fast food. There, are, there we are. Yeah. I'm driving up, uh, grabbing some avocados. I didn't even have to get out of the, the yeah. van for those. And, and these were um, some wild berries that we foraged up in Arizona. And the main thing that we want to communicate to you is to think differently about food is not necessarily what you grow in your garden. Food is all around you. So we encourage you to get one of those little, you know, they have those little guides to wild foods and wild harvesting. There's a lot of great books out there. Plant identification. Yeah, plant identification guides. And learn, you know, what's growing in your area? What's abundant? And what are the native peoples of wherever you live, what were they eating for food? There's, 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 a, lot of, um, there's a lot of food out there. The fact is, is most of us have been trained to go to the store and buy food, and that's, okay, that's food, okay, I guess that's safe, that's what I should eat, okay. And, and, and totally ignore what's all around us, growing wild and free for everybody, so. So we were, we're in a field of food in Fort Yeah, Bragg there we here. are sitting in a giant salad. Wild broccoli growing on the cliff sides, and uh, naturally salted from the sea salt spray. Yeah, that blew me away. In. There was actually kale growing on the cliffs going down, and it was, you pick a leaf off and it's salted, just 
Oh, yeah. amazing. So here's a, a little quiz okay. for you. What is food? Show of hands. Show is of hands. this food? Who is Everybody this? says yes. Does this okay. we pretty much agree? Everybody Anyone? who says no, no, it's not food. Anybody say over no? Over there. Over right there. over there. Why? It you looks right. too. Come over here and get some seeds for you and we your friends. We have a prize for you. <laughs> He's right. It is not food. It's plastic. It's actually, it's a trick it was question. A tr it was a trick. It's plastic food. It was food. a trick question. Well, we were actually expecting somebody to say, well, it's not food because the corn is grain. And some people believe that corn and grains are not proper for human consumption. So to some people, it's not food. But, but this it, really is not food. It's plastic. Yeah. So, so it, if it was real, it would be food. Okay. Is this food, Mason? It is food, but this guy took a little too far, <laughs> didn't know when to stop. Maybe he needs to go to a 12-step meeting. So that's, like, that's um, part of what our book is about. It's about addiction and dealing with addiction through food and nutrition. So. And we'll get to questions at, towards yeah. the end.